Good morning. Had a good night last night, yeah, despite it raining off and on, like all night long. And even right now, it's just really lightly sprinkling, but it stayed warm. I'm not wearing my puffy jacket. It's probably only a few mornings ever where I'm not all buttoned up wearing warm gear. But I was all alone. Uh, Dr. Thunder and Snow Turtle are somewhere a mile ahead of me, a mile behind me. I may see them uh, shortly this morning somewhere. But in theory, it's only like 15 miles. Um, to get us to a road where we can hitch into town at Ennis. So that's the goal for today. Um, so we're up, um, ready to rock, and uh, let's get moving, knock these miles out. It should be a lot easier, not so much steep ups and downs. I think we're through the worst of the mountains of the Spanish peaks, but we'll see what it all looks like. Hopefully we don't get any rain. It doesn't look too bad weather-wise. It'll keep the temperatures moderately cool. I don't think it'll be 80 degrees again. It's warm right now though. It's like 60 degrees. Maybe it'll just stay in the 60s. That'd be fine. It's been all rocky ups and downs this morning. We may just be about at the point where we start uh, downhill all the way to the open valley. see a little bit through the trees. Looks to be getting a lot less rocky all downhill from here. I'm now at a point where we got a bushwhack about a mile and a half to two miles. So far it doesn't look too bad. We move through this and then we should rejoin a trail on the other side. Well, this bit is not fun. Been bushwhacking up a swamp for the last half mile and my feet are wet. There's the trail. That bushwhack was slow going and mostly sucked. Oh. Okay, back on trail. Beautiful cruisy downhill. I really hope the train stays this easy. There's Lake Ennis down there. The trail we're going to be coming out on is on the north side of the lake, right about in the middle of the screen there. And then we hit a road on the west side of the lake, and then looking to get to the south, to the left, just a few miles, is the uh, town of Ennis itself. There's a better view of the south side of the lake, and the town of Ennis itself is just over there. Just made our way through this gate. I think that's the end of the National Forest areas. A bunch of signs about private property and stay on the trail. Getting a little bit better view of Lake Ennis. The town itself is down there. So once we're done with uh, the town of Ennis, get back on trail. I think we kind of wind up to the northwest that way. In a couple of days we'll get to the town of Whitehall. It's the next stop up there somewhere. Made it out to a trailhead parking lot. Trail Creek Rack area. There's this huge river valley that comes out of the uh, lake flowing up to the north. Uh, Bear Trap Canyon, I think is what this was called. Nice and wide river. So I'm gonna take a good snack break here. I think we got at least four more miles or so. Looks like all road walk until we get to the highway. We're done with our break. Back on trail, finishing this day up with a little road walk. There's out to Lake Ennis. Pretty gusty right here. And Bear Trap Canyon.
from the lake into some farmlands, about a half a mile to Highway uh, 287, which is right in front of me. That's the one I'll be hitching from. Just a few miles down the road. It's windy in this area. The wind's just getting funneled right into this little flat valley. But hopefully we'll see you guys in town shortly. Well, it took about 20 minutes to get the hitch. I'm at a restaurant, I just got my food, and these guys just showed up. So we're all together again. We're gonna figure out what we're doing. It looks like there's no really any accommodations in town, so we're still working on that issue, but food first. I got my brownies Sunday for dessert. Well, we're done with our lunch. That place was awesome. That was like yesterday's Soda Fountain was the name of that restaurant. But every hotel in town is booked up, and so we're looking for options. There's like an RV park or something we're gonna check out. And then as we move towards the Dollar General for our resupply run, there's a couple of hotels along the road. I think we're just gonna pop in and see if any late cancellations have happened. We're definitely staying the night in town. We just gotta figure out where we're gonna end up at. So everything in town is booked up hotel-wise, and this was just the first place we popped into just to double check to see if there's any late cancellations. And they said maybe. So we got like a two hour wait just looking at the storm passing by town there in the background. We definitely don't want to sleep in a tent tonight, so we'll try to get a room if we can. But anyway, maybe there's one cancellation going to happen, uh, but they won't know for sure in about two hours. So, in the meantime, we're going to walk down to the Family Dollar. We'll do our resupply run. Maybe busy ourselves with some laundry at a laundromat as well. So we got things to do in the meantime. Here's hoping we get a room later. Here's our resupply options. We got the Family Dollar built up right next to the local Madison Foods, so we're gonna check these guys out. I think we only need like two and a half days of food to get us to the next place. We got a little critter here just chilling. I don't know what that is exactly, but he's uh, looks like a stray. Well, success on the hotel. That all just worked out totally by chance because the whole town was booked up and there just so happened to be a vacancy at the one place we happened to inquire about. Um, so, awesome. They were very nice and accommodating at the front desk. Um, it's a major windstorm outside. There's cells around the town, but nothing's really hit the town itself with lots of rain or anything, but it's definitely looking like nasty weather outside, so it's good to be uh, off trail for a day but there's like 40% chance of rain for the next couple days in the forecast, so it still might be kind of iffy out there once we get back on trail. Anyway, we're good to go. We're gonna get cleaned up. Um, probably just be chilling until it's time to go find some dinner later, so we'll just uh, check back in later. I think we got all the chores we need to do uh, done. There was no guest laundry here, so you had to go to the laundromat in town if you wanna do anything, but I think we're just gonna maybe freshen up some stuff in the sink real quick as far as laundry goes. Um, just more of a quick in and out type of town stop. Anyway, we'll check back later. It's dinner time, heading back down the main street. I think we're gonna go check out the gravel bar for some live music. Well, we got some bars to start off, or some beers to start off. Did I say bars? Same thing. Beers in a bar. <laughs> and here's what we got for some dinner options. Going with a pulled pork sandwich myself. Free your heart, it's midnight up in Harlem. Oh, back in the hotel. Well, that was a fun, quick experience of the town of uh, Ennis. A little uh, good bar food and then uh, some live music out back. But I think that's going to do it for tonight. It's getting late. I got to work on this video and then we're up and out early in the morning after a nice breakfast back on trail. A few days to uh, Whitehall, I think is the next resupply town. So all that's coming up next. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the morning. Good morning. It's about 7 o'clock. I'm gonna go find some good breakfast, and the other guys are sleeping in. So we'll see you when I get to the main street. We're gonna eat here at the Enos Cafe. Well, we're packed up, ready to rock, all checked out. Itching from here. I my backwards cap. And uh, the new style with the backwards cap. <laughs> and we only gotta get like five miles down the road. <laughs> well, that was a quick hitch. First time in the back of a truck on this trail. 
just got dropped off. A little side road for the uh, Ennis Lake correct area. We're good to go. That was a real fast, easy hitch. Just a few minutes. Now we're back to road walking. I think most of this entire stretch up to the next town of uh, Whitehall is going to be lots of road walking. I've seen a couple of these nests built on people's properties where they've got these uh, some, tar some type of um, predatory falcon type bird. They're just flying around. Lots of ranch land out here in the foothills. Cattle and horses. Well, I might caught a glimpse of them, but there's a whole group of pronghorn just running away there in the distance. I think there was 10. Well, this place has got goats and sheep. The Lazy Ass Ranch. Well, this road walk isn't too boring and exhausting and anything yet. <laughs> it's just all ranch houses. Slowly getting closer into these foothills. Well, it's lunchtime. We're a good bit into the road walk. So it's time to just uh, take a break, lighten our backpacks a little bit. We'll be back on trail after a little while. Now we're done with lunch. Back on the road. We're starting to get up into the mountains a little bit. Plus houses. And it's getting steeper. There's looking back down the valley behind us. It's a little hazy with all the smoke, but you can see uh, Lake Ennis down there in the distance, making our way up. Slow uphill grind. There's looking back behind us. Afternoon storms are starting to pop off. Hearing some distant thunder. So the storms yesterday were south of Venice and kind of blowing to the west towards Big Sky. And hopefully weather patterns repeat because we're kind of up to the north. Uh, or no, storms were blowing east. We're kind of currently up to the northwest. So in theory, the storms might move around us. But we're going to keep an eye on that stuff nonetheless. Well, we're right on the edge of the storm getting little sprinkles of rain, but I think we're still far enough away from it, I think we're safe. Moving uh, over one ridge line, down into a little valley here. Well, I made it down to the end of the valley, or the bottom of the valley, I should say. Moving up the next valley. <laughs> but we're at the area where the um, Potosi Campgrounds is at, and for like the next two miles all along this road and to the left of us along this stream, there's a bunch of intermittent campsites. We're not exactly sure how this works, if it's like pay sites or just for use, but we're thinking we're going to go up to the end of where the row of campsites are at, and if there's something available, we might just steal it. Well, we managed to find one site that nobody had taken. This place was pretty full up and we were starting to lose hope. We're pretty much at the end of the valley, the end of where all the campsites are at, and we got a nice little spot. So we're getting set up, getting everything, uh, getting everything going here. Well, as we finish up here, I'm gonna go ahead and just sign off. It's still sprinkling rain, but we're good and dry. It hasn't been too bad overall, but it's been the uh, last couple hours just light rain. Nothing's been soaking us, so we're still doing okay. No major lightning storms or anything directly overhead, so that's all good. 
I think tomorrow also rain um, is in the forecast. Um, we'll see how it looks though. Another day uh, going over this mountain range and then um, the day after tomorrow we should be getting into the town of Whitehall. So that's all coming up. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you all in the next one.